Hola amigos y amigas, it is here me now, again, Noriel Lieje, El Subastajero. But this time, let's talk about real estate investments. You know, I'm a real estate investor on foreclosures, but let's talk genetics first on where we're all coming from. So let's talk about how to do your due diligence. You know, when you're investing, very important is the start. Because once you make a mistake at the start, tuloy tuloy na yan ang mali mo. So, first, are you ready to start investing? Personal, do you have the funds? You know, I get a lot of people who say, Sir, how can I invest without money? No way, man, can you do that? When you invest in real estate, you invest with your equity. Do not take a loan because that is a short-term money putting it into a long-term investment. Pang! Mismatch kagad yan. So, you should not be doing that kind of deal. What about your overheads, your personal savings? Do you have your own investment fund? Do you already have your own uh, emergency fund? That emergency fund, three to six months long. After the pandemic, people say, you gotta have a two-year preparation to have a emergency fund. And if you have children, bigger by your, in, your emergency fund, diba? So, evaluate yourself. Are you stressful? You know, because I always say when you start investing in real estate, I do my test. I sleep on it. You know, I have that sleep test. If I can sleep tonight with the idea that I already invested on that real estate, then that means I'm ready to start investing. Ano mo yan? Pera-pera yan? Hindi. Also, your personality and your attitude towards investing is very important. So, let's start off first. What's the best place for us to start this, what we call, the due diligence. Of course, we always start with the title. Very important ang title na yan, di ba? So, tutuloy natin after a few more seconds. And we're back. So, what is the most strongest position or document of ownership? It's your certificate of title. Either your TCT, which is your Torrance title for the land, or your condominium certificate of title, which is for your condo unit. No? So, saan ka pupunta? Meron pa dyan isa. Ang tawag natin yung tax declaration. We always get some questions. Sir Noli, is it okay for us to buy property? Tax dec lang siya. Well, we I always say, it depends on the value and it depends on your level of risk. Ako, Kung sabihin natin, 10 hectares yan, tapos 100,000 lang ang, ang purchase price, tax decade rights lang yan, I will go for it because I have a very high level of ano, tolerance for risk. Sa akin, the harder it is, diba, the more money you make, and that's what we follow. So, where do you really get your title? To check, you go to the Register of Deeds and you ask for a certified true copy of the title. Marami dyan nagbebenta ng real estate titles. Papakita sa'yo. Ito yung title ko. That's the owner's copy of the title. Which is not the same as the one registered with the Register of Deeds. They're inside the bodega of the government office. So, which is better? So, let's say, for example, na-demand ako si Mr. X. I attach this title. Okay? I go to the Register of Deed and I annotate the title there in their office. Pero yung hawak ng kopya ni Mr. X, wala. Hindi ko pwede i-attack yan because hawak niya. So even if he's showing you a clean title, it doesn't prove anything that it's really a clean title. You have to go to the real source which is the Register of Deeds. Tax declaration, why is that important? Because you want to know if taxes have been paid regularly. If not, the government will annotate the title and the tax declaration. So, parang ano yan, unpaid realty taxes. And if it happens for a long time, boom, they will also auction that off. Maray mo, I'll be your buyer already. So, see you again in a few seconds. And here we are again, back on the tax declaration. Important dyan, papakita sa'yo yung latest tax receipts. And before you do the actual purchase, you request for a tax clearance document, which is normally given by the assessor's office of the local government unit. So, yun ang importante yung titignan nyo. Now, history of the property is very important. Alam mo yung mga pagkamarites nyo, yan, this is the time you do it. So, when you go to the property, what do you look for? You look for the sari-sari store owner. You look for the tricycle drivers. You look for the neighbors. Yung mga nagdidilig, kahit tatlong araw sa nagdidilig pa rin kasi maraming kwentuhan sa kalsada. No? You ask them about the property. We've done this before. We asked mo ng sari-sari store owner, no, no, manang, ano ba nangyari dyan sa bahay? Alam nyo, sir, dati ano yan, ah, mayaman na mayaman sila kasi meron siyang boy 
friend na ano na stranger na ano ta, estranghero foreigner di ba wow sabi ko okay ah. tapos nagkagulo sila nag-aaway sila gabi gabi nag-aaway ngayan di ba nung naghiwalay na nung lalaki ayan na po mamaya maya wala na silang kuryente mamaya maya wala na silang tubig so you can see the history especially mga karumal dumal di mo alam kung may nangyari dyan maray mo yung asawa na sa septic pang parangaga ngayon di ba so you have to ask the history also of the property very important so not just documentary but you have to go there to physically inspect the property di ba so we're gonna talk back to you about the physical inspection of the property this is what i always tell people before you buy step on the property always i tell that you know because i've seen problems with people first they buy the wrong property second they thought it was talahib pala ang lalim pala remember if you buy a deep property just imagine 2000 siguro per square meter ang landfill niyan so your cost has just come up so Follow me. See you guys. Noli Aliehe, El Subastajero. Follow me, the Property Forum, Philippines in YouTube. And my Facebook page, El Subastajero. And here comes the plane again, so I gotta go. See you guys. <laughs>